Little 38. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Excellent. Hey. I don't know what that is. is it? Come back, come up with it. <gasps> yeah, it? it is. It's in a bullet. Two tin of bullets? No. Yeah, tin of 2 2 bullets. So that then would have been in that rifle. Yeah. That we handed in. <laughs> nice one, Marie. Well done. Good job, Marie. Oh, look at that! Little two twos, look, look at them! Yeah. Wow, I'll we'll put them in there. No way! Excellent! Good find, baby! You can stop in the big dippers a little bit longer now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just called out. If you can hear me, a little 9mm bullet. And uh, Glenn's pulled out a 7.62. There we go. Just pulled that out, and it's an old, and it's an old purse. Look at that. That's a nice little amaret. All right, I'll bring you down to show you these, because uh, you know, don't people panicking? But look. All right, load. Load of bullets, look at those. Oh my word. There you go. Look at that. So, Marie's found another pew pew. 
or a banana as we call them, not to upset the public. Let's have a look what she's got. Oh, we got baby. Excuse me, babe, so you can get it on the camera. There's nobody coming, is there? I can't quite see down there, but. <gasps> oh, oh my life, what the hell is that? I've got to be careful because the branch is actually hooked on it. That's a flare, isn't it? Don't come after. Oh my life. That Look at that guy, that there you go. Right, get it it's nice and slow. Nice. That is in oh. immaculate condition. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, wow. It's cocked as well. That's a Wembley. Oh. Wow, look at the condition of that. I think. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous, that is. Wow, well done, Bab. <laughs> and I thought we were finished on this bridge. Oh, wow. This is a German Leut Pistol 34. Amazing! Developed by the German military, the Leut Pistol 34 was designed and introduced in the mid 1930s. Known for its simplicity and reliability, the flare gun was crafted to serve various purposes on the battlefield. As the war progressed, Leut Pistol 34 became a common sight on both the eastern and western fronts and was instrumental in lighting up the night sky, revealing enemy positions and aiding in navigation. During World War II, the Germans attempted to create a multi-purpose weapon, which could be used by the infantry. So the Leutsch pistol was modified to fire a variety of grenades. This was called the Sturm pistol. Today, these flare guns can be found in military museums and private collections, serving as a tangible reminder of a bygone era. <laughs> oh, Mr Foxy, you're not the only one. Hey, look. Oh, look at those. Steve, trust you to get some tongs. <laughs> what date are these, Glenn? Um, well, according to uh, the fox, I'm about 1709. I think it all depends on, on that piece there, it I think. It depends on the, on the, the, on the date. It That's all depends on the top. That's right, it does, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Mr Fox. <laughs> You're not the only one now. now. Have I told you about my tongs that date back to the 1400s? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be well mixed now, won't he? I can bring some coal in for the new year now. side of the bridge. Literally, I don't know how the hell they come up. They were tangled in some leaves, but there's some old Irish pennies. Oh. Now, I pulled one of these up last week, and that was 1935, so that's going to be 30s, 40s. Wow. Um, pulled what I think might be the remainder of a shell, because that's got brass on it, look. That could potentially be a poor man drink again. And I've got a knife. Ah. Well, I don't know if that's going to be any good. We'll try. We'll try. Check your crud. Right. Other than that, just bits of scrap at the moment. But I'm going to go down here. So, guys, time's come for Armistice Day. Um, showing our respect to many islands, which is going to be hard for me. If Steve will time it for us. 
I'm going to put this in the river as a sign of respect. Are we ready? Yeah. Rest in peace to the fallen. Leamington Spa, like many other towns and cities in the UK, had its own armed guard units. These units were composed of local men who were not eligible for regular military service often due to age or medical reasons, but who still wanted to contribute to the defence of their country. The Armed Guard played a crucial role in providing a local defence force during a time when the threat of invasion seemed imminent. Their duties included guarding key locations, patrolling vulnerable areas and providing assistance in the event of air raids or other emergencies. One of the Leamington Armed Guards was situated at Sydney Flavelin Co Limited, a large factory producing gas appliances. In the years of World War II, the factory was big and important enough to justify its own Armed Guard platoon, as well as other factory defence personnel. The Armed Guard unit was part of the 1st Warwickshire Battalion. During the war years, they published a regular newsletter, entitled Eagle News, and there are only four surviving copies. Here is one of them, dated the 9th of April 1942. So let's have a little read. Patrols Dusk and dawn patrols will be carried out as usual. Gas masks in alert position and steel helmets worn. Guards must be mounted promptly at 20.30 hours. Grenades Corporal J. Redgrave and Private C. George did very well with live grenade throwing at Wedgenock last Sunday. I want two volunteers for next Sunday, preferably men of experience with Mills grenades. What a fascinating read. As the war came to an end, the Leamington Spa Armed Guards disbanded, their mission fulfilled. Today, we remember and honour those local heroes who, in the face of uncertainty, stood tall to defend the town they called home. Guys, I am here. I've just not been on camera much today because it's all the Marie show, but I am getting silly little bits and pieces, but I'll just pull that out. So, but yeah, it's an all girl day today. Marie's killing it today. Another bullet. Another magnet because I'm just teetering on it here. 
I don't want to lose need another magnet. Right, what, what's going to be on your acre? Look at Look it over here. I knew they're okay. going to be machine guns now. I knew it. Yeah, I know. No way. <laughs> that is... Wow, <laughs> cursed. No. You want me to you pull it off? Yeah. You've got to be very it's careful. Boring. It's literally... It's teetering on it. Glenn, I don't want to drop it. Pump, act, pump action shotgun. Shitty now. That's a pump action. Right, that's a stick. I've got to go there, Steve. Holy shit. It's out with me. A machine gun. No way. Get that bugger. <gasps> wow! Hang on. Just, just check it safe. Check this back. Okay. Kirsty, how do you do it, girl? And it's me. Don't put your finger on the trigger, though. Oh just my god. Don't go like that. Oh my word, wow, Kirst. Kirst. Absolutely beautiful. Incredible. It is, it's a machine gun with a shotgun. Yeah. Well done, darling. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Safety, is that on? Yeah, the trigger's in the back position, so we don't know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That is incredible. It's heavy, isn't it? Yes. This is unbelievable. A Spaz 12 dual mode shotgun. The Spaz is a legendary shotgun known for its reliability and distinctive design and is also featured in the popular movie The Terminator. Developed in the 1970s, the Spaz gained fame for its dual mode firing capability, pump action, and semi automatic. What makes it even more intriguing? is the butt hook stock attachment. This accessory adds a unique element to the Spaz 12, enhancing its handling and providing additional support. Replacing the standard stock, it features a hook-like extension that provides a comfortable and secure anchor point against the shooter's shoulder, allowing for better control and stability during rapid firing sequences. So there you have it, folks. A truly one-off magnet fishing find. The Spaz 12, a legend in the world of shotguns. What you got? So, got a cranky handle. Yep. Check your crud. I've just pulled an, an old sad iron up oh, and look yeah. what's attached to it. Oh, yeah. Then a carbine bullet, I'm taking it. Um, I've had a padlock. Now, is that a button cleaner? Oh. I don't know, I will check it out. Uh, some kind of a, I don't have some kind of a big clock key of some kind there. Um, I don't know what that is, that, that's some kind of spy clock. Uh, it looks like a bayonet handle, a uh, blade. But, the piece to the resistance. I've only just got an add a fuse off the bomb. <laughs> My word. And that's, uh, that's a keeper, so that's nice. I'm really, really happy with that. Really happy. Yes! Oh. That's why you have the magnet. you get what I mean? Right, I can really try to grab it. Get that grapple back in for the other end. Oh, he's got brass knobs on. Put <laughs> <laughs> them brass knobs on. <laughs> Mind you, Robert. Oh, they're heavy, these things. Now, I thought it would be a good um, idea for a television for it, right? That's a nasty one. It is. <gasps> 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 oh, it's not a one. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, no. 
That's an old one, that. It's a very old one. Trigger guard broke, or is it flying trigger? No, the trigger guard's broke off. Oh. I'm not sure what that one is. Could be a Smith & Wesson. Right, another one. Another piece of bed? Yeah. Oh, it's, is it, oh, it's the other end? That's a footboard. Footboard, that one, yeah. See, that's got brass knobs on as well. And could well go now. Oh, I Oh dear. There's the, the other, other end. There we go. Footboard and the headboard. <laughs> oh, is it another 38? Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to keep it covered. Like <laughs> Did you just smack the seat down? One off a magnet myself. That's, <laughs> that's peaky abuse, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you were pulling loads off last week. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, I'll give you the pleasure. I don't like the things. Yeah, it's another Webley 38. Oh. Excellent. Swinging under the bridge. You're going to be careful swinging at your age. <laughs> <laughs> What you got now? It's another big gun. <gasps> what on earth is that one? What these are the... rare. These seem rare to the side, bro. They do. Oh, no. Do... no, it's a it's a Webley. Oh, it's serviceman's service revolver, yeah. Look at that, that's another one. I think we need to count these. <laughs> Just pull that out. That's how we're going to get him to check it. It's a bit of rats. Smelting rubs are on. They look like they're more like rubber straps together. It's like they're all wind up. They've been tied up, yeah. Some form of chain or something. But it's really important. Oh no, you could be allowed a gun cleaner. That's what the ring said there. This is a loop there, look. I did pull up earlier um, in the scutcheon off a key. But yeah, we'll take it back. We'll crack the crud open, could be anything inside there. It's one of those again. So I was just pulling the scrap off me got off me uh, magnet look and look what's there. <gasps> it's a flower. It's another flower. Look at the grip on Ooh. that. That's going to clean up That's beautiful. Old, that is. That's going to clean up a treat. Look at that. Ooh. The grips are in perfect condition. Oh. Oh my word. <gasps> I forgive you. Look at the grips on it. That is perfect. Brass. Brass, yeah. That is in perfect condition. That's going to clean up beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Over the moon. <laughs> he said to me, he says, I was here first, and he says, I'll tell you what, bro, if you throw your magnet out there, yeah, right, stand on side where we launched boat last week, there'll be loads coming out. Send me down there. I've had a padlock. He stands here, gets that. But I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. <laughs> Good on you, bro. Oh, That's absolutely that. gorgeous. Glenn, yo. Before you walk away. Oh, he's oh, 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 o
what brothers do. Oh, if I, if I find a bank, you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, bless him. That's good. That is beautiful. That's going to clean up a treat, that one, isn't it? Mate, look at the grips on that. Perfect grips. Considering the age that would be, like 1880s. They're immaculate. I'm just wondering if they would. They wouldn't be back. Well, what do you think they'd be back like, mate? They'd be First World War, wouldn't be back like? Yeah. I wonder if they're like a cherry wood, very hard wood. That's what I'm thinking. Ebony. Ebony, like cherry, that. yeah. Ebony, cherry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, do you want to put in... So yeah. what was on your magnet in the meantime? I never got round to this, but that's another gun part. Oh, it is? Not sure what yet, but... That's safe to go back for a clean-up. It is, yeah. That won't hurt nothing. Hey, look! It's, a little, it's got it, a little bolt. It's a little bolt? It's over a little bolt, or it's a piece of buckshot. That could be a 2-2. Two -two. I bet it is, yeah. It's the breech off the 2-2, two -two, isn't little it? It's a 2-2 two -two rifle, yeah. Yeah, I think it is the breach of the 2-2 rifle. Um, I'm doing well today. Stop that. Oh, you can do it. So, I've just pulled up uh, another one of them. It's a street lamp um, gas timer again, like we had before. But unfortunately, it's missing the brass plaque. And you've got the normal iron on the back. So that will have to be scrapped. That's a shame. Never mind. Oh my god. Oh, He's got another banana. That's another old one with a floating safety trigger. My life. They are weird, aren't they? That's got a safety trigger. One well, of folding triggers. That's another that's an old one. That's two of them I've had now. That looks like the um, the very early handle grip on that, Steve. That looks like the very early grip. See? Yeah, it's got the same, it's got the... Same as a flower, but would have. Yeah. I reckon that'd be an obsolete calibre, that. Yeah, I think it is, I know. Excellent! Hey! Wow! Oh, a big bunch of seven six twos on a clip again. Look, oh actually, I could be free out them or free out freezer. More, look what I've got on the end of that. <laughs> and he's got a tip. <laughs> there you go. More history. Oh I've just pulled another gun out. But I was behind here, so I've uh, let the guys. Uh... <laughs> so, yeah. What is it? Civil War. Civil War? 18. No, is it really? Wow. Look at that. Woohoo! that camera on. Keep that camera on. I'll keep it on, keep it on. That's a notch now, look at that. That's got a bit of company. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a nice one. Well, that's, a, that's an handy one to have, isn't it? Maybe really? Literally. It is, yeah. Handy to keep that's in the box, lovely. that. lovely. Wow. Very nice. Sure, if that's a key, look at that. That's an unusual thing. So, uh, yeah, take that back. It sure looks like a key. Well, Michael's on some there and Glenn's on some it. <laughs> no, you can see what I'm on, guys. Only another one. <laughs> is it? Let's I don't know what it is yet until I got it open. I'm just waiting for a. Uh, Steve to come, so he can... I think Michael's got a PC. Is that pretty good crap, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see what we've got. 
Oh! Oh, that's mega old. That Steve, one. that's mega old. Oh, it is at all. That's like a bigger flow there. That is old. No way. Sweet. You're shaking. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, shaking. Actually, it feel, mind you, it's quite light. Feel the way. That's like a big brother. Oh, <laughs> I want to pull it off your bag now. <laughs> That is a nice one, that. And the remains of a I'll fork. I'll come around here so I can uh, show you a bit better. Remains yeah, of yeah. a pickle fork. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not that interesting, but there you go. <laughs> that's more interesting. Ooh. No. What a fine. That's it. That's a light and all. It is. I wonder if it's a toy. Look at the trigger guard on that. I think it's a uh, bigger brother version of the float bag. I might have just got a computer up. I think, is it, it might a computer? Be a cash oh, all right. Oh, 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 Springing your step now. Nice. Yeah. And you've got to love an horseshoe. Uh, keeping the horseshoe for it. Yeah. <laughs> Right, <laughs> camera. Come in. <gasps> oh, look at that. I think there might be two. There might be two. Oh, that's a leaf. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my God. I think it's a toy one. Yeah, it's a toy. Ooh, that's another one. That's a toy. I think it's a toy. Toy. Oh, it's got a, uh, a spring inside. Fitness. Yeah, it's just a spring, isn't it? It's still fire. Fairly old. Hey! Today, you'll see that in the video. Uh, that was collected, that's gone, which we're happy about. That looked a nasty thing that did. But uh, from History Bridge, as the Beacon Dippers now call it, we shall see you again. Bye for now. Bye. 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 And if you haven't liked to subscribe, do so. <laughs> <laughs> the Finds Roundup. Hello, everybody. Welcome and thank you for joining us. This evening, well it's this evening now in the UK, it might be the morning in the States or abroad. So thank you for coming along anyway guys and uh, I'm trying not to laugh here because um, all I can remember of that week was Kirsty having the best find and um, we've started calling that Arnie. Yeah, because that was some beefy shooter wasn't it that? It was, it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was one beefy shooter. I've Seen a lot of guns, a lot of guns come up in magnet fishing, but oh my god, that one was scary. And it was quite modern compared to where we was, so it's obviously been used 
as a naughty naughty. But yeah, um, it was a brilliant day. Um, we have been back there since, so you'll probably see a bit of it on the next video. We did try another spot. It was all right. A few things come out. Went back to Gunbridge, as we now call it, Gunbridge, and uh, pulled out a bit more. But it wasn't in the way of too many guns this week. But we'll leave her as a surprise for you guys. Um, yeah, we've killed it with that bridge. <laughs> and uh, anyone wants to go black, they're welcome because. I don't think there's much there no more. We'll try, we'll try, we'll keep trying it every time we're passing by. Right, um, I know you've all been waiting for this part now. Oh. So the peak is really good giveaway. And this one is a, um, a special a special package. It's to go anywhere in the world before anybody asks. Um, it will go anywhere on the planet. As long as you pay the postage. No, I'm joking. We'll cover all the postage. Um, it's just getting it out to wherever it's won. So, we've got everybody on the wheel here who came onto the live. Just before I do this, if you want the chance of winning the next one, which I will announce on Peaky's Cave through the week, I've pulled together something quite similar, with some nice fine, with some nice bits. Um, all you've got to do, guys, is come onto our live on a Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. We can't help it if we're a little bit late sometimes, because we do lose track of the time. UK time. But 3 p.m. UK time, we will be going live. And as long as your name's on there, you are entered onto the Peaky's Really Good Wheel. Giveaway wheel. Right, okay. Good, good luck, everybody. Me. Good luck. And after three, I shall press the button. One, two, three. Go, oh, yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Drum roll. Michael, Michael Mount. Michael Mount. And now I know Michael's wow. been really, really commenting on a lot of our videos lately. Yeah, he's a really good supporter. Well, they all are. Well, they all are. Um, yeah. You all it's, are. It's all fair. Uh, it's all done equally. Wow. Um, so yeah, Michael, if you can get in touch with Marie on this link down below. Yeah, on this email. We shall get your little parcel out here. Yeah. Um, and, there will, and there will be more coming, won't there? Oh yeah, but please. More, more, be, more special ones. Please don't think that this is it. I'm going to match up more or less what Steve has donated for this one. I'm going to match up and get some photos on in the week of what you could win next time. Yeah. And then we'll have to go back to uh, some bracelets or some book. We are doing a few good ones here and there, so this one's a good one. Yes. This one is to commemorate the hall mm -hmm. that we found. It's also to commemorate um, the, the people that fought in the wars. People forget this when we pull history up and we pull guns up and stuff like that. It's quite emotional to think who last held them items and why they were used. I mean the guns to kill people. Um, it's not just about the person on the receiving end of that gun, but it's also the person that had to pull that trigger. So, um, bad times. Bad times. So, yeah, um, we do remember that as we pull history up. So, there you go, Michael Mount. Congratulations. And um, to all the rest of you guys, don't worry. Don't worry. The no. more the wheel goes on, the more chance you've got. And there will be another one similar. Yes, there will. Yeah, I'm going to get another one together. Um, for next week's video oh. and I'll start putting some pictures up of what I've got um, it'll more or less be si very similar to what Michael's just won so uh, we might do that one next week and then I'll wait a little bit and we'll do some ordinary giveaways and then in a couple of weeks time maybe another month we'll get another little bit of a collection together Perfect. so yeah give back to our subscribers that's what it's about if you haven't liked to subscribed already guys please do so have a look on Peaky Dippers History Hunters blog. You can join there, like the post and join it. You've got Peaky Dippers Cave where you can share your videos um, and your pictures of whatever you do. And um, yeah, just feel free to do that. So until the next video, guys, wish us luck. We'll see you next time.